Hello everyone, Caster here with another chatbot tutorial. Today we're gonna go through the first step that you need to do, and that is installing the bot. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to streamlabs.com chatbot. I will put a link in the description below. Next up, you have to download the bot. So on the very top here, we can press download, and it's only for Windows, unfortunately. So if you are on Linux or OS X, you are out of luck. So we're just gonna wait for this to download a few seconds. My internet is being a bit slow at the moment, apparently. And I will walk you through this. When this is finished downloading, what we gotta do is just run the installer. Hopefully it runs and we have to accept the agreement. We should not install a bot in the program files. So the default path will be users, your username, at the roaming streamlabs streamlabs chat. That's what you should use. And uh, since I already have the bot installed, I mean, I'm just gonna do a clean install and put it on local disk D and program files. You should not do that, preferably just leave it alone if you can. If you really can't, you could try around, but make sure you have admin rights. So we need 167 megabytes, we are all good. Pressing next. I don't want a desktop shortcut, but I do really want an exception in the Windows firewall, because a lot of times the firewall will cause issues for you if you don't. We're clicking next, and we're hitting install. This should only take a couple of seconds, it's not a big program, so it should be really quick to install. Once it's done, it's going to give you an option to launch the bot. And for this sake, I'm going to do that. And we just have to go through the setup wizard. So welcome to Streamlabs Chatbot. This setup wizard will guide you through the setup process. I'm going to walk you through that one as well. So we're starting in this one. I'm going to show how to set up for Twitch in this video. So we're selecting Twitch and clicking Next. It's checking all my connections. Everything seems OK. So we're going to next. Now the first thing I need to do is log in to the Twitch bot account. So you must have made a different account for your bot. So I'm gonna log into the Twitch bot account and we'll open up an off page. And my username for the bot is CastorBot. Surprisingly enough. And then I'm just gonna log in. They authorize it. And it should be logged in. So step two is log into Twitch. And this is your streamer account. This account you'll be streaming from. So we don't want to use the Twitch bot one here. So we're clicking not you, and it will log me out, and I can log in as Caster91. So that's me, and I authorize it. Then we log into Streamlabs to make sure notifications and everything work. We're gonna log in with Twitch, because that's the service we're using. Then we approve, and then we have some basic settings. Your audio device is where your sound effects command will go through. I'm just gonna leave that by default. Just leave the audio end as it is. Don't fuck around with it because that will cause issues for you, most likely. I want my bot to auto connect on launch. I don't want to see my viewer in the console so or the viewer count, so I'm not gonna check that. Clear session on startup is needed for host alerts, for example. So when you restart the bot, you also clear the log. So the bot knows that, okay, this is a new session. I should announce all hosts, all follows, etc., etc. Otherwise, it will only allow people to host once to get the notification. And if you don't clear it manually, then it won't show up. I'm not hosting the bot for a streamer. Uh, I'm hosting it for myself, so I uncheck that one. Mods that are also subscribers will receive mod perks instead of sub perks for songs, minigames. Yes, I want that. I want the mods to have that extra power in the games. Then we have some currency settings. I, I want to have a currency. I want the live player to be 5 every 5 minutes. So that will generate 60 points in 1 hour. So it's basically 1 point every minute, but it's the payout happens in 5 min intervals. I don't want to have an offline payout. Take offline hours into account for total hours in stream. No, I don't want that. I, I just want to see how long the people have been watching my stream when live. Use Streamlabs extension currency. No, I'm going to use the local currency. But if you're using Streamlabs extension and use the stat currency, you, you're going to check it here. Mod tools. I want caps link. And symbol protection. Word of protection I will set up later if I feel I need to. Chat scale and style. 
I feel like that's good. We're going next. Setup complete. Enjoy your new chatbot. When you want to adjust your integrations, you can simply go to Connections. The little guy icon will be in the bottom left corner. This will open up the Connections window where you can set up even more integrations. Be sure to check out the documentation located under the question mark in the top right corner. Finish. Now the bot is going to launch. It will take a couple of seconds. And then we have the bot up and running. And that's it. So if you want to change your integrations now, go to the bottom left corner, go to Connections, and there's a bunch of them. And as mentioned, if you press the question mark in the top right corner and go to Open Documentation, it will open your default browser with a complete documentation on how to use the bot and all the details for everything. You have now set up your Streamlabs chatbot. Yeah.